Oh man, let me tell you about last night. Yesterday it was Sunday and Ricardo and I went shopping in the morning and when we came back home, we noticed that the basement had a lot of water like in a specific corner and we're like, oh my God, we're like, do not panic. Do not go into panic mode. What do we need to do right now? So we have a sub pump in our house and pretty much if you guys live in areas where there are basements, a sub pump will help um, take out the water from around your house, including the basement, and push it back out through an irrigation system or something like that. So what happened is the sub pump burned out and when we had the house inspected, the sub pump looked fine. I panicked, I called a plumber because I'm like, my dad's an electrician, he's not gonna know anything about the sub pump. But I should have called my dad first because when I did call my dad, or when my dad called me, he was like, I can fix it, I can reinstall it for you. And I was like, what? Like, I didn't know you knew anything about this. I didn't know anybody knew anything about like a sub pump. So he like came over, took it out, installed a new one, we bought a new one. We went to Home Goods, Home Goods, we went to Home Depot and we got a vacuum, a dry, a dry wet vacuum, a wet dry vacuum. We got a huge fan and we also got a dehumidifier. So those three things and they are all equipment that needed to be rented out because they're so big and they could, they're like expensive machines. So we rented them from Home Depot and we went to work last night. I was so drained and exhausted from like constantly going back and forth with the vacuum. And let me tell you, it was only like a small corner of our basement. It wasn't even like that much. Hello? Hey girl, where are you? Uh, can you do a return into Linda Square? I'm sorry, say it again? I'm looking at it. Uh, I'm like ready as soon as you turn into Linda Square, like the first little like parking. Is it by area. the like the volleyball nets? You pulled it? Right yeah, can you do a return into Linda Square? Oh, we just have to. Okay, I'm just gonna park. I'm working out with um, Ricardo's cousin's wife. She's so cute. She's like been on it, working out. She's so like fit and she lost a lot of weight. And I'm like, girl, tell me your secrets. So I'm gonna go work out. And so I am back home. I just got done with a two hour workout. Sandra really pushed me. Like, she really pushed me. I'm so glad she did because we did um, a lap around the park, which was like 2.3 miles, something like that. And then we went to the gym. We went on the Stairmaster for um, 35 minutes. And then we worked on legs. And she really pushed me. I was like cramping and I was like... <laughs> like feeling like I was going to fall over because my legs felt like jello and I was like okay I'm like I'm done <laughs> I'm like I don't want to push myself too hard because then I'm not gonna want to come back because it'll be like too hard she's like okay so we're gonna meet up again later on this week and she's going to show me like her other workout it it feels really great to get back into working out because I felt like for the longest time I found every excuse in the book why I didn't want to work out it's too hot I don't have the right shoes you know like on top of that, I was really busy, but I feel like even when you're at the busiest, you can make time for it. So I'm glad that she pushed me. So remember I told you guys about the whole sump pump thing? Let me show you guys the progress of it. All right, so it's kind of loud in here because we have all the machines going on, but this is what it looks like. Let me turn on the light so you guys could see. So this is where the water comes in. I'm not sure if I'm describing this correctly, but over here is the sump pump, which brings it up here and outside and then it goes somewhere so it's so weird to look at that right okay so I didn't know this existed in a home okay so this is like our little storage room okay so once it started to overflow it started leaking to this side of the house and it leaked all the way around like that and then we called a professional to come in and take a look at it and he had like a thermal camera and it was the coolest thing ever because when he was looking at it we could see exactly where the water was at so we knew that we had to 
concentrate on this area over here and it kind of leaks a little bit over there but just like against the wall not even like over here all right so we used the wet dry vacuum we sucked up all the water i think we had to take this thing out i think we had to take out the water twice because that's how much accumulated under there if you touch it it's kind of wet but not really um because we've had the fan going all night long and then this is a dehumidifier so this is going to grab any moisture that's in the air or in the room and it's going to bring it out and shoot it back down over there the joy of being a homeowner right <laughs> okay so um i'm gonna take a shower i feel so gross i'm gonna meet up my friend stephanie we're gonna go shoot some pictures and she's gonna help me film part of a video so i'm gonna help stephanie take some pictures she called me she's like belinda she's like i'm so excited like Someone sent me some clothes from my Instagram for me to post on there. She's like, and I need your help. Like, can you help me take some pictures? And I'm like, of course, I would love to because that is what I do for a living. So the plan is I'm going to take a shower right now. I am going to get ready. I'm going to change into what I'm filming. And then she is going to meet me up. She's gonna bring all her stuff with her, like the stuff that she needs to shoot pictures with. And then we're gonna go get lunch because it'll be lunch time and then we'll come back here and shoot some pictures. And we're gonna do it at my house because it's like 90 degrees outside. It's so hot and it's like the worst type of hot. It's so humid and thick and gross and you just feel like you instantly sweat the second you walk out the door. It's pretty miserable. So <laughs> we're gonna shoot inside the house. I'm starting to feel a little bit tired but I'm not, it's such a weird feeling. One of my best purchases I've ever made was this purse. It fits everything and anything that I need in here. All right, let's go. Look at these walls. I filmed videos here before because it's so pretty. There's Stephanie Hager, you look so cute. You? You're, you look super ready for the shoot, Do oh I? my God. Yes, you look I'm cute. so tired. We, um. I, which you call it, I was working out this morning and girl, I am pooped. <laughs> but we're gonna keep going, right? It's so freaking hot out. All right, so I am setting up to help Stephanie shoot. We have AJ over here. Say hi, AJ. I'm vlogging. Say hi. <laughs> and over here, I have a mirror so she can see what she's doing. I don't know why I thought about this last minute. I'm like, hmm, I should do this for my photo shoots too whenever I shoot. So I have this mirror here, the Diva ring light. I opened up all the windows so that a lot of light comes into the room and it brightens it up so there's like no shadows or dark spots and I opened up that window too. And she's going to be like posing over here in this corner. So we're making it look a little bit more neutral. Are you ready, Steph? I'm ready. <laughs> So we are shooting today her leggings. They're yes. super cute. So who is the seller? Um, so you have to check them out. His Instagram name is Per Single. Per Single? Yes. Per Single, okay. Per single. I like that name. That's a yeah. cool name. And Stephanie's awesome. modeling her, the leggings from the store. Per Single? <laughs> per Single? Per Signal? Per Single? All right, guys, so we're heading to Target. We need a prop. Stephanie needs to help me with the props. So since we are doing the seven day shoot, I wanted like a picture of um, a Pepsi, co co Coca-Cola, <laughs> not Pepsi. <laughs> Wait a second, of a Pepsi like can. I feel like everyone's doing these Instagram pictures. Have you seen them? Yeah. Of like people holding up the Pepsi bottle. Yeah, girl. Or not the Pepsi, I keep saying Pepsi, sorry, Coke. Coke. <laughs> The Coca-Cola can. Pepsi, the Coca-Cola one. Yeah. Yeah. So that. I want to get have like a really cute picture of like the glass bottle and like sipping on it. I think it'd be a cute picture because I'm wearing like the Coca-Cola shirt it's that I'm at Target. Really, really cute. Yeah. I hope we can make it look cute. I'm like, I Girl, have this vision in my head. <laughs> everything look cute. Look at those glasses and that shirt. Oh, this is from Target too. These are the glasses that I bought. You see? And that's really cute. Yeah. Yay! <laughs> <laughs> so we just got done shooting Stephanie. Yes, it was so much fun. They came out really cute. They, the pictures came out You just out have really like good. the most perfect like body for it. But like, I mean, for the leggings. We have like a really good photographer. <laughs> <laughs> I she tried. Kill, she killed it, guys. I like used um, the ring light to like light her pictures up. And then since she's not used to posing, I was like, you know what, let's use a mirror. That way the mirror will help like give you a little bit more like what you look like in your angles. Cause she's like, I don't know what angles to do. I'm like, well the mirror definitely work. 
You feel like it helped? Yeah, big time. Okay. Yeah, I think it was great that we used it. I feel more comfortable. Because it's there. like you're looking at yourself almost, mm -hmm. right? Yes. Instead of just like posing without say, knowing what to do. Anyone who wants to like take pictures, the best way to do it is with the mirror. Because then yeah. you know what you're doing. Yeah, it'll make you feel more comfortable. And then once you know your ankles and you see your pictures, then you're like more and used then, to it yes. and you remember your angles. I feel like I know my angles, so whenever Ricardo helps me take pictures, mm -hmm. like I remember them in my head because I'm so used to looking at my own pictures over and over again. I know which angles are flattering and which ones are not. Yeah. So it helps. That's what I was asking Ooh. you too. I was like, you're so good at it with auto mirror. But Belinda's an expert. She's just that good guy. <laughs> I've been doing it for five years. <laughs> so whenever someone takes a picture, it's so funny because when you were at the, Ricardo's 30th, yeah. Um, Julie, she was uh, taking pictures of us standing up by like the balloons, uh -huh. and I was like posing, like doing different things. She's like, okay, like, <laughs> damn, you're doing, girl. Like, every pose. You're like, like, she was like, work it, <laughs> work that camera. I'm like, I just know my angles, you know. Like, she really does know them really good. But you're you, like, you like look this. good, girl. You look really good oh, on your pictures. You. I'm like, I know how to get the most flattering angle. Where you can see my own you know. <laughs> We all know you cannot. You can't see my arms. Or you, can, you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, girl, I know what you're saying. But I feel like if you don't do it often enough, you don't know what you yeah, look like. You're right. I right, I don't do it often. But like that's why selfies are so popular because like you know your angle. You see like, a selfie you know, I like, could do. See, oh that, you, yes, you that, can. That I could do. See the that queen I'm like <laughs> the queen. Like if you go on my Instagram, I have a lot of selfies. <laughs> you're used to knowing what facial expressions work so like when I was trying to guide her of like what pictures to take like I didn't have to guide you with your with your face I feel like Ashley's always correcting me like mm -hmm. in a good way she's always like well and I like you to, okay smile or not smile or look at the ground or do this you know yeah. she'll be like oh you look like you're mad because I don't know my facial expressions as much as I'm concentrating on my body but you know your facial expressions so well in a picture that I did not have to guide you Really? At all. Yeah. That's a compliment. It was really fast too. We didn't even take that long. No, we didn't. Pictures. I don't know. Even with my sister, when she takes pictures of me, I was like, okay, you know what? And I, I see the picture. I was like, okay, I think I got that one picture that I really like. Yeah. My sister, on the other hand, she could take 30 pictures. Yeah. Not lying. Mm -hmm. Which is nothing wrong with it. I just feel like we're, you know. I, I take, I have to take like 50 yeah. before I pick the right one. See? It, there's nothing I'm wrong picky. with it. It just. I had to be more depends. picky. <laughs> <laughs> no, but that's a good thing because then you're most likely to post something and you're not too picky because when I stare at a picture for way too long, mm -hmm. I hate it. I'm like, you overthink oh, it? Yes. Oh, okay, I'm like, oh, my eyelid was twitching and no one even knows that, you know? <laughs> like, you know what I'm saying? Girl, I'm sure a lot of us are guilty of that. <laughs> I'm like, wait a second, my nostril, one's bigger than the other and no one will see that, you yeah. know? Yeah, I get what you're saying. All right, so let's go get the pop. Success! Woo, 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 woo. The music getting me going. <laughs> go, 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 go. go. <laughs>